If you haven't listened to the full year 2024 reading, pause and go into the playlist and listen to it. I'm going to do my best to plug the video here so you can just click on it. But if you haven't listened to it, just go and listen to it. Um, this reading here is a serious one. We're dealing with the what I'm feeling is like the dark side of Capricorn meeting the lost or imbalanced side of Leo. Not sure what that means. Um, when I read with Capricorn, I always get this feeling, this intense feeling. Like um, in previous videos, I've talked about Scorpio. Scorpio has a stinger, so it's like a, a stinging feeling. But Capricorn has this, I want to fight you feeling like they're charging you and they want to fight you. And you're just like, look, I'm just trying to get the message and pass it to the people. You're doing too much. That's the energy I'm getting from this reading. Um, the full moon and the new moon are both on a Thursday. Thursday is a magical day. It's the day of, it's the day of, um, Thor is a day of Jupiter, it's the day of um, enhancements and growth, it's the day of motivation and possibilities, it's the day of abundance, it's a wonderful day. But with this January new and full moon being on a Thursday and being in the two signs that should be very easy to work with, which is Capricorn and Leo, all I'm reading is like, the dark side of those two signs like um like the dark the dark days of your soul is pretty much what i'm reading and it's not fun because um we're not children anymore so it's like um i could speak from personal experience when i was growing up and traveling through the stars through your age groups and your growth process there was that point where you would come across these retrogrades you would come across these um galactic energies and they hurt you you know like they hurt and as children depending on where you're raised if you're either being raised in the church if you're being raised in the um in the more modern world or if you're being raised in the organic spiritual world you could feel something was wrong you know like you naturally feel like this is not normal what i'm feeling externally is not what's going through me internally and that's that feeling that i got like the moment i turned the mic on this very intense feeling kicked in and i'm i'm moon scorpio so i'm used to that scorpion intensity but this one right here was like a frequency of you're not gonna move or you're not gonna do what you want to do and i'm like dude that can't be january that can't be january that can't be january because um, everyone is working so hard this year, especially this year, after we've gone through the COVID, the two years of being on lockdown, the kids finally going back to school, everything finally starting to feel normal. We've been doing a lot to maintain that normality. And the energy that I got just now was just like not normal. It was just like, yo, um, it's a block. In other words, it's a, it's a terrifying block. And it's going to take some fighting to push through that block. Because I will tell you one thing I know about the sign of Capricorn. When they decide that you're either an enemy or they don't like you or they're not for you, it, that's a tough energy to get past. Because they are they say Taurus is stubborn. No. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, and Scorpio are possibly even more stubborn than Taurus. Taurus is stubborn because Taurus is watching you and is realizing you don't know everything I thought you knew right so i can't really trust you that much the other three are stubborn because do it my way or it won't be done and nine times out of ten their way don't work for you and that's that energy that i'm getting off of this first beginning part of the year now mind you it's january 11th we're on a thursday our colors are serene our colors are blue and purple our energy is feminine we're being ruled by Jupiter and Saturn. That could be that, but I can't say that's that because there's no retrogrades in Jupiter nor Saturn. The retrogrades are in um, Uranus and Mercury. So I can't even say it's the Saturnian and the um, Jupiter energy that's um, conflicting each other. It, it was a very um, 
if I could explain it even deeper, I would. It was it was just a very intense energy. Like you're not you're not doing this. Like you're not gonna do this, right? So um, with that being said, I would say um, as we're going from the beginning of the year to our new moon and heading towards our um full moon. My advice is simply um, acknowledge Saturn. Acknowledge Saturn. Saturn rules our childhood. There's something that we're not acknowledging that Saturn's just like, as your parents, I'm not going to reward you because you haven't learned the lessons you signed up for. You are making so many suffer. You are making so many not see the truth. And I'm tired of that. And I'm going to show you. That's the energy. Jupiter, being Thursday, wants to reward. But Saturn is like, no. You can reward these children. But that one right there ain't learned that much. You understand? If that makes sense. That's the energy I'm getting. Um... When it comes to your personal sign, your personal life, your personal energy, process that energy on an intimate level. Like for me, my Saturn is in Scorpio. My Scorpio is in my moon sign. Every time you look up Saturn in Scorpio, it teaches you that um, that Scorpius energy is a detriment to Taurus. So therefore, Saturn is going to be very hard on that Scorpio energy, which means your childhood is going to be horrible your childhood is gonna be halloween meets jason meet meet um what's that other killer's name meet michael on hell's wheels that's how your childhood's gonna be and that's exactly how my childhood was so when i came across that energy i was just like well i've seen this before i've seen this before this is a saturn meets my little bad child scorpio energy and it's not fun it's not fun and if that's what the beginning of January has to bring to us, then we're we're going to have to do some deep reflections and some deep meditations to figure out what have we not yet done that needs to be done so that we can resolve whatever this is and heal and move on from it. Because it's something that's missing. So um, I'm going to pause here for a moment so that I can dig a little deeper into our colors, our candles, and the stone that I set aside. Let's take a little moment and talk about our retros with our rolling days. We have a retro in Mercury, which deals with our communication and how we speak to one another, how we communicate. It could be verbal, nonverbal, via technology, via um, even how we receive information. For example, the the news and the news that we're um, receiving. The toxic information that we're receiving, the um, the lies, the betrayals. When um, Mercury is retrograde, it's just telling us that the communication is about to fall apart. And when that communication falls apart, be prepared for some chaos. Now, with that being said, and we have this retro in Uranus, and then our January is ruled by Jupiter and Saturn interfacing with each other on each of our moons on both thursdays so if we break down those energies and dissect them well we have saturn ruling the new moon alongside its companion jupiter that's for the new moon on a thursday and then on a friday saturn returns for the full moon and rules that full moon alongside the sun now, the Sun and Jupiter, I said Saturn, I meant to say the, the, um, the full moon, Leo rules, so therefore the Sun will be ruling with Jupiter. Now, both of those situations should feed off positive energy. It's just I was not aligned with the energy that I received when I started this, right? And now you have... Add on to that your retrogrades in communication and then Uranus doing its tour of our history that it's been doing for the past three years in preparation to go direct. 
it's literally it's like literally a march of the souls like it's we're being led to say here i am with my clipboard ready to check off your lessons you understand you were given this lesson did you learn it did you um receive any benefits from the journey of this lesson tell me what you've learned all right that's checked off you learned that lesson let's move forward but that's not what's happening what's happening is it felt like an energy of a thief a deceiver was trying to jump in the line of the individuals that should be getting rewarded by jupiter and this individual energy was just standing in the line with everyone else like mm, i'm in the line too but what it was doing was creating a disturbance in the frequency of the individuals who are in the line to be rewarded. And it distorted the line. That's the energy that I felt this when I first started doing this reading. Now, as that energy pulled back, I can see the big horizon. Like, I could see the big picture. And I'm like, that's what you were trying to get to. You were trying to consume all of the benefits, all of the rewards that um, Jupiter was bringing for the month of January. You were just trying to consume all that and then make it seem as if it's something, it's calamity happening all over the world. And it's not. It's just a deceiver trying to destroy whatever it is that those who are to be rewarded are supposed to be rewarded with. I'm not sure what you're going through in your life or how things are affecting you, but these energies are real these energies are so real like i have a group of energies around me that are literally just trying to do the most like they're over dramatic sometimes i laugh at them i'm like you guys are such fools like it makes no sense the level of clownery that these energies do and it kind of reminded me of the previous tarot readers i used to watch during 2020 2021 and early 2022 and these people used to invest so much, right? They would invest um, money into crystals, um, cards, um, decorate their altars and everything. And I'm like, it's not that serious. Um, it's spiritual work that you're doing. You're no different than a preacher or a priest. It is spiritual work that you're doing. You're just banishing negative energy that should not be around us. That's preventing us from growing. And there was this one young lady I used to watch. And at one point she let that whole devil Satan thing attack her and she stopped doing tarot. And I was just like, you see, that's what I'm saying. When you glamorize something at one point, the ugliness, if you understand energy and you've worked with energy, when you glamorize something, ugliness has to appear to balance out that glamour. There's balance in everything. It doesn't matter what you're doing. There's balance in it. And, um, as I was processing these energies just now, and as I've been processing them for the past what, two years now, it went from me being super angry and fighting every day, felt like I was fighting for my life every day, to finally just stopping and witnessing their day to day and realizing that's the ethers, you know? Those are the energies that make up the ethers around us. So, as you're starting, closing out your 2023 and you're starting out your 2024, keep that in mind. It doesn't matter if the energy is negative, if it's attacking you, if it's threatening you, if it's bringing shame to your life. Pause, listen to it, process it, go through it and understand what is it trying to tell me? Because a lot of the time your life could be heading into a path that that energy has been through. And it's here to warn you and it's not coming off nicely so you have to figure out what are you what are you saying what are you trying to tell me and then you can go through your january so that we can have a great february but i'll tell you guys um january don't look promising man <laughs> it looks scary we're gonna move to the tarot and then the full moon so our tarot for the month of january is the seven of wands upright this is a card that represents challenges competition it represents protection perseverance um a brief description of the card it simply means that you're trying to do something that others are going against you, you can either be trying to succeed and others are trying to diminish you you can be trying to change your life and others are trying to destroy that you're trying to accomplish a goal 
and others are trying to destroy it. As I was preparing for the month of um, January, the stone that came to mind was the obsidian. It's a stone of protection. It's a stone of grounding. It's a stone of healing. Um, mixing that stone with the seven of wands and understanding that in the month of January, it's just a mess. It's, it's a mess that's going to be um, filled with those trying to destroy versus those trying to help. I hate to do the good versus evil game because I think that is like the dumbest things that the dumbest thought pattern that adults have good versus evil light versus darkness no it's progression versus regression that's what the month of January is showing it's progression versus regression because if we constantly did that good versus evil you guys wouldn't have your iPhones you wouldn't have your computers you wouldn't have your lights you wouldn't have your running water because back then in, in the olden times when people focused so much on good versus evil they couldn't get anything accomplished in the physical world that's why it took them so long to create the light bulb to do this to do that think about it every generation there's progression there's change right in 1990s kids are growing up you can use Mark Zuckerberg for a reason, for a purpose. Kids are growing up, right? They're seeing what the adults are doing. The adults are busy doing that good versus evil nonsense, right? And the kids don't like that. That stuff is boring. And it creates monsters in our subconscious that we then have to kill and sacrifice to ourselves just to prove to them that we're not the same. So we change. We start focusing more on the outside world. Now, out of nowhere, in the 1990s, the adults had those bulky um, car phones and those bulky beepers and all that stuff. And in the 2020s, 2010s, 2000s, we have phones that can take pictures, that behave like computers, that can do... um. We have phones that are camera, computer, television, and can make phone calls. That's what we've done in the short amount of time that we've been given that possibility to do it. How did we do this? One, protect yourself. Two, focus on your outside world. You can't get so lost on the nonsense that was here before you were born. In this 2024 blockage that we're going into, it's being led and pulled in by the Uranus retrograde. That Uranus retrograde is pulling all the dark energies, all the shadow energies, all the subconscious energies that we've all had hiding. All the evil that you think about you wanting to do to quote unquote your bestie, your mom, your dad, your brother. It's now out in the open. And usually what these energies do, they want to do the good versus evil. It's not good versus evil, sweetie. It's you versus yourself. It's your dark thoughts, your dark patterns versus someone else's dark thoughts and their dark patterns. And God forbid, if you are not one of these people that are dark, then you're just stuck in the middle of this foolish game, just shaking your head like, what is going on? That's how I feel. Now, when you do tarot, you open your shadow to welcome other energies, but you don't open your shadow to become a whorehouse for spirits. I'm sorry to speak like that, but that's the energy I'm receiving. There's uh, so many, um, so many magic practitioners, so many tarot readers, so many spiritualists. They quit. They quit. Why? Because this good versus evil, ignorant nonsense is overtaking their their subconscious and shadow worlds that to the point where they can't even fucking think anymore. And they don't want to go pure ignorant. They don't want to go. I need to go to church to save my soul ignorant so they just quit they just give up and we can't have that this generation like i said before look at the cards look at the energy look at the um rulers that are in your month look at your personal lives 
acknowledge the fact that what these adults are doing in this world and when i say adults i don't mean age group i mean consciousness these old ass people that are old their their mentality is from the slave days they don't even understand how does technology work those people they're at war with this new generation every time they open their mouths they say such negativity and I'm like, but damn, in 30 years, these kids have done way more. Way more than you guys have ever done. Y'all are still lying about pedophiles in the church and dragging children to the church. This generation said, nah, that ain't for us. But that's what we need to think about as we go into 2024. I think this year... 2024 is about to be an epic year but it ain't gonna be lovely like the previous years it ain't gonna be january 1st with partying shaking our booties it's gonna be january january 2024 we're equipping our spirits equipping our minds equipping our shadow and subconscious selves to understand and recognize when these energies come across you could change your 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 um your physicality you could change your frequency all you want but it's still you you understand and we're in this space like even for me personally we're in this space where as children we were taught to protect the evil and destroy the good the evil is everything that it was outside of you when that doctor smacked your butt and you went away and the good is you everything you want to do everything you imagine doing everything you love everything you strive for that's the good that's the progression the regression is i need to go to church i need to pray to jesus that's regression you can't handle life you can't handle the truth so as we go through this full moon i'm hoping to shorten this um video but this is just a message like something doesn't feel right something just doesn't feel right let's jump into that full moon So the full moon on January 1st is in the sign of Leo. Now, personally for me, Leo has always represented a father figure. Um, when it comes to Leo, there's a safety and a security that you feel. There's not a single time that you'll meet someone and they're a Leo and you don't feel safe. It's just like when someone meets a Taurus and you're like, you're a bull, aren't you? And they're like, how do you know? Oh, it's something about you that just let me know what you are you understand and as we're transitioning january is passing the baton from the new moon in capricorn to the full moon in leo these two signs like i stated earlier are security signs capricorn rules over the base chakra which lets you know you can you have the ability to survive you have the ability to build a life around you that you want to build leo has gives you the ability to feel that I am energy in you. You know who you are. You thrive. Your third chakra is going and you feel powerful. That's not what I felt in the beginning of this reading. I felt a weak, saddened Capricorn and a hurt lion. And I was just trying to process that information like, whoa, what is going on here? Like, when you read for me i go into a dark space it's very dark it's like superbly dark where i go and it's not dark as an evil it's just as dark like if you were in a dark room it's superbly dark right i'm sitting in my subconscious shadow self quietly in the dark receiving information receiving energy and what i receive is just sadness brokenness and i'm just like does this have to do with me personally or does this have to do with the energy that i'm reading then it has to do with the energy that i'm reading visions of the world being at war visions of children adults behaving like spoiled children 
visions of lostness, depression, loneliness, visions of children not having the right guidance by their parents, visions of schools not being safe, just visions of all these things going on at one time. And you see a sad Capricorn and a broken Leo and Saturn trying to just fix what he can, like we can fix this and it becomes a sad situation. I'm not going to make this long because we're already at 25 minutes, but no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, keep in mind that whatever energies you encountered as a child, they were abusers. They took advantage of you. It was unfair, the things that they did because you were children. They should be apologizing for the evil that they put on you you and I and other children that were born post-1975. There was an energy that we came into this world with that these people who already existed and were participating in the nonsense of this world were not ready for. They weren't ready for it. They weren't ready for the advancements. They weren't ready for the change. They weren't ready for the, the independence of self, soul, and spirit. They weren't ready for that. How do I know that? I'm a parent now and I'm raising my children. And the conversations that both of my children have had with me since from the time they were like two, three years old till now, the level of conversations that they have with me are pure spiritual conversation. One of my children have naturally told me, you know, I've been on this planet 30. This is my 33rd life on this planet. Now, instead of doing like our parents before us and saying, ah, you're talking foolishness, what craziness are you talking to? I'm going to take you to a therapist. I listened. And I will tell you certain things that that child said align exactly with the timeline that she was talking about. And she says every lifetime, except for this one, every lifetime she's come into this world, it's been the same chaos it's been the same drama it's been the same nonsense this lifetime there seemed to be a separation between the two groups there's one don't get me wrong there's one group that just wants to keep repeating the same thing over and over again and then there's another group that's just like you're giving me a headache i can't <sighs> water is the only thing that i can do consistently that's the only thing i could do Water is the only thing I can consume day in and day out. I have to eat different foods. I have to eat different fruits. I have to snack on different snacks. The only consistency in my life that I endure day in and day out is water. And that is not purifying. There is a group out here that's been doing non-purifying, non-progressive things. And this retrograde. And I know this reading is like, I don't know what to take from it. But I'm telling you. Everything I said, if you listen to the full year reading and you listen to this one afterwards, you'll understand that Uranus retrograde. In the full year reading, I said that Uranus is walking through, throwing the side eye at the past and is pulling all that information, all that vital information forward so that it can help make a decision of what needs to be done. Everything I feel like we're feeling is stuff from the past it's evil it's uh, dark it's manipulative it goes against the current but it's from the past and there's a group of individuals that want to keep that nonsense going and my thing is being someone from a mid space of space time what happens when every group that used to participate in this nonsense no longer exists on this planet because we're trying to do a clean planet where everyone has food, everyone has shelter. You don't have to worry about finances. It's balance. And these people want to do a world where some have, some don't. Some are starving. Some are so fucking fat that they don't even know what to do with themselves. These people, we want to do a spiritual realm where you take acknowledgement and responsibility for your spiritual output in this world. These people want to create a realm where you're begging some outside entity to forgive you for some nonsense that you possibly didn't do 
in order to reward you with junk that you possibly don't need. Those, that's the two group. That's what Uranus has brought to the surface. There are two groups on this planet. There's one group that I, I know this group. I was there 84 years ago. They were fighting a war. 84 years later, they're still fighting that war. Now this new group here, what is this nonsense? These kids are speaking through the ethers. They're traveling like never before. Communicate Mercury must be so happy. Look at all this communication that they have going on. Their thought pattern is different. The way they move is different. And here come these heavy bound, corrupted beings trying to speak smite thee. They're trying to smite these children's consciousness and their shadow realms. All everything that they're trying to do, smite them. In our time, we did it better. You did which, what, what? What was it? What was it that you did better? I'm so curious to know what was it that was done better. Now that we have this changing energy coming in with all this new information being presented if we were battling to save the world the new generation is sitting here like we're not like them they have their hands in the air like we're not, i swear we're trying to clean the planet we're trying to save the ocean we're trying to save these creatures we're trying to stop these battles but these guys are stuck on killing the planet killing every creature that ever walked on the face of this earth and furthermore, murdering and suiciding themselves. We're not like that. So when I think of the generations and I think of the two sides, everyone who hears this and comes from the 80s, we're the new generation that's taking the responsibility and looking down at the 90s, 2000s, 2010s, 2020s kids and encouraging them, telling them, please continue. Create the AI that can help us clean the planet. Do what needs to be done so that we're not left in a trash can claiming we're in paradise. Because this doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. To close out the video, just take a look at the screen. We have the blue, which represents tranquil, the purple, which represents royalty, loyalty. And then we have our seven wands and our obsidian. It doesn't matter who you are. If you heard an ounce of what I said and you processed it the way that it's supposed to be processed, you're of our group. But if you heard what I said and it pissed you off, how dare you speak like that? Then we already know what group you are part of. And it's your energies that are ruining the planet that we're on, the reality that we're on, the story that we're telling ourselves. It's your energy that's ruining it. So I'm going to close out the January 2024 reading and we're going to move forward to the February. And I'm, I'm going to take a moment because I would like to do the three months today. So I'm going to take a moment and just take a breather and then I'm going to come back and do the um, February and see what changes. I'll talk to you guys soon.